All right, what is up, YouTube? This is Bait here with my 7K podcast questions and answers thing. And today I have some friends here with me. We have the Nugget Boy. Say hello. <laughs> Nugget Boy. What's up, guys? <laughs> Nugget. <laughs> it's Quando Ren 66 here. Yeah, and my good buddy Scott. Also known as the uh, acoustic kind or Pinobi. The acoustic kind. Guys. Oh, yeah. So we are totally going to start doing these questions right about now. Just from the. So uh, what's the, what's the, what was the first question? What and is? We are going to. Yeah. Two plus two times two, is the first that, question. That is six. Six. Because two times two takes priority. Like a bullet That's punch. What we just and talked about. <laughs> like <laughs> bullet punch. And the, uh, Order the question questions. is, though, who was your first starter? I'm assuming this applies to uh, any game in general, like the first Pokemon game you ever played. So, space, um, take it off. My. My first starter actually was Pikachu because I the first game I got was uh, Pokemon Yellow. My every every friend had the red and blue, and when Yellow Yellow just came out, I just bought that, and that was sadly enough Pikachu. <laughs> had to be one of those kids. Uh, one of those kids. Scott, what? Did, who did you start with? I started with Bulbasaur because Bulbasaur is a fucking pimp. Papa and Charizard. <laughs> Charizard is actually my least favorite Pokemon in the game. So. How? Because it's weak to stealth rocks. Rude. No, no, <laughs> not not for competitive reasons. I just don't like it. Yeah. Well, actually, sort of for competitive reasons. Bellyzard is just like stupid. Yeah. Uh, oh, I am offended because that's actually who I picked as my first starter. I picked. Don a don don. Don't worry, I'll buy you fight, a nugget. Fight! 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 <laughs> Okay, what do we got next? Um, if I ask really, really nicely, we have a battle with me. This is from Power Master VX. Um, you can do that. Well, I guess, guess my general rule is to, you know, just add me to Skype, and I pretty much battle everyone who's so, on Skype when I'm not busy, and that is it. Yeah, hit him up on Skype. Uh, I want to ask yeah. if you are planning to ever use a physical Charmeleon. <coughs> what? Wow. Yeah. Um, I yeah. used one. It worked really good with the Evilite and Thunder Punch. Wow. That's what they said. Lol. Evilite. Pre-evolution stone Charmeleon. No, I would imagine that, you know, that's really not the best poke to have that stone with. Because it's not really bulky and it's a fire type. I don't know. Mm -hmm. what, what do you guys think? Um, a physical does, Charmeleon. Uh, <laughs> doesn't Charmeleon get that Dragon Dance? Like, you can breed a... DD Charmanders and whatnot, so it's not that bad because he doesn't have the weakness to uh, he doesn't have the yeah. quadruple weakness to Stealth Rocks. Yeah, so. but then again, it doesn't get roost. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's know. true. That's also true. Yeah. Mm. I used to always run Wait, DD in three attacks. So. Rest of Chesto Charmeleon. <laughs> oh, that's not that fight though, but still. Elo, didn't you have that uh, Evo Stone War Turtle? Have you ever used that? Oh god, I had one and I tried using it. Like it's it's a good set. I really like what it is. It's uh it's toxic and it's aqua ring, protect and uh scald, I believe. And it's uh it's I think it's got a little in both defenses and it's mostly special defensive so you can get the scald burn. Yeah. But for some reason I can't get it working. Like usually just a heatran ends up coming in and ruining my fun. So yeah. I, I've been meaning to I use it for a while. I use a war turtle with fake out an aqua jet and it revenge kills and it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, okay so well. Looks like your uh, your next one here is please describe your time in the military. I think you mentioned Whoa. once that you were in the military. Yes, I was. Well, that is actually where I got this got this name actually. Me and my friends were called Spades. And you know, in Finland army is a you know a bit different thing. You know, do you guys have to, like, if you go to army, don't they, like, send you to Iraq or something? That's, usually? If, you get, uh, that's if you get deployed, which yeah, normally yeah. isn't a uh, required thing. Like, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not 100% on that because I have a friend that's in the Air Force and his brother yeah. happens to be in the army. But I don't believe his brother is in Iraq currently. I'm not going to speak much about the military when I don't know about it. But I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. that it, uh, it's an option. It's a, it's a very well-paying option, might I add, but it's a it's a fairly yeah. risky option as well. Yeah, you yeah. can get enlisted and like not uh, opt to be sh like go anywhere overseas, I think. But yeah. I also don't know too much about the military. I'm a nerdy little kid that stays at the computer. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, in Finland, it's like uh, you 
it's we are mostly you know every man in Finland who has uh, turned 18 years old has to go to army or to the civil service and we have to serve for uh, from six months to 12 months so one year max and we are just you know mostly thought about you know defending our country in case something happens in case war comes and stuff like that and you know that's mostly and uh, you know it's a pretty fun place uh, to get in shape and uh, to get a chance to meet new friends you know and since there's no really risks here and we are not you know being sent to anywhere or stuff like that so you know it was good times Given the, uh, the size of your mm-hmm. country as well, it's probably good to stay on guard and all that. It kind of sounds yeah. like the U.S. Uh, selective service that we have here. When uh, when guys get their driver's licenses, uh, they are required to register with this uh, selective service that says that if we ever need backup troops, then they can just pick randomly off this name of pe- names of people. And anyone that has a driver's license, uh, mm-hmm. you know, has to register in this. So it kind of sounds like your thing where you're required to do it but mm. i guess because we have a bigger population it's not yeah. a requirement like you can go without your driver's license until you're 25 and you know dodge that bullet entirely yeah but, uh, true yeah okay well, i guess that was that let's uh move on how do you get all your pokes says the <laughs> mr <laughs> <laughs> try yelling a little louder i can still hear out of the other ear <laughs> How do we get our perks? We are we steal them, much like Team Rocket. Team Rocket, exactly. Yep. Or you can just do the uh, karmically right thing and get yourself uh, Pokey Save, Pokey Save for some of yeah, you. Yeah, m- m- much like in the first Pokemon movie, we clone <laughs> our perks. You know, yes. make them in machines, technology yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Um, I beat up little girls for their Pokemon. <laughs> I make them poke out for me. Poke out rules makes life easier. Mm-hmm. Much more convenient. Okay, yeah. next one. Uh, what is your favorite game, uh, PC or console? Mm. So not including Pokemon, I would guess. Okay, well, console games. Probably as a child, I you know of course always always used to play like Super Mario and. Uh, when I got my PlayStation, I think Crash Bandicoot was my number one game, and then and later, uh, I think for PC, Age of Empires 2. Have you ever played that game? Oh, I love that game. Yeah, oh, too. it's fantastic. I'm I more of a StarCraft fan, fan, but RTSs in general are good. Yeah, and then probably I could mention a few more games, Final Fantasy games in general, and Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all the Metal Gear. Uh, those, yeah. those are both good games. Good yeah. Series. Dude, Spade, have you played Final Fantasy Tactics? Uh, for PS One. No, I haven't. I think I had one long time ago for Game Boy Advance. Wasn't yeah, Final Fantasy? Was that was that a remake of it or? Yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics for the Game Boy Advance was a remake of the PS One version, which is a lot better in my opinion. Mm. I never really got into it. I know. I, oh, I, man, it's genius. I had a PS1 emulator on my old computer just so I could play that game. Yeah. <laughs> why don't you just get... Nah, never mind, whatever. I was going to say, why don't you just get a PlayStation 1, but okay. That's <laughs> China, right? But, but. Okay. Uh, next one, according to this list, is... Uh, it's actually from the same guy, and there's a lot of repeat questions like this, and it is, what is your favorite Pokemon yeah. with this fifth gen included? Um, we can also dive into this afterwards and not include 5th gen, but uh, for now, Spade, what what do you got for your, your favorite here? Mm, was it for 5th gen or what? I this 5th gen included, yeah. Uh, okay, for, well, from 5th gen, I don't know. You know, probably my favorite game when I played the in-game would be that dog. Whatever that thing. Is it Stoutland, the final poem? But I really like Detective the... Detective Scruffy. Yeah! <laughs> That's right, Detective Scruffy, the second form. Is it Hardaria or something? Herdier or some weird... Yeah, Herdier, I guess that's Herdier. the English. Yeah. Herder. 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 Kind of like, kinda like Conkledur. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's but, Herpier and Conkledurpier, so... Herpes. <laughs> 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 what? 
<laughs> Let's not go there. Wait, is uh, that your favorite? Is that just your favorite fifth gen poke, or is that your favorite poke of all time, including fifth gen? Uh, I guess it's my gen five favorite, but but my all time favorite is of course my good old Snorlax. Good old Snorlax. There you go. The flaming avatar. <laughs> Damn right, bitch. All right, next one we got here, I think we kind of already answered it. I guess we can come back to if there's one like it later. And so what games you play okay. when you're not playing Pokemon. Um, yeah. We'll just we'll just jump back to something like that in a bit. Uh, do you do think Chinchino looks like Eevee? Yeah. Chinchino, I guess so. I guess a bit. You know, it's not... It's walking on two legs, isn't it? I can kind of see yeah. it, but yeah. not really. Kinda? Kinda? It kinda, kinda looks like... Wild chase Not really. Stuff. Its ears are fucking humongous. <laughs> so <laughs> kind of yeah. like how I kind of look like Ray William Johnson, but not really. It's kind of like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are kind of in- indistinguishable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Next one we got JK, here JK. is uh, do you have a girlfriend? So. Oh dear. I do not have a girlfriend currently. He does have a boyfriend though. Yeah, it's Scott. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Scott, do okay. it. Do, do you use PokeSav? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and could you explain EV training and Poke Risk yeah. and all that stuff? Now we are going to. We're totally going to explain how how the whole competitive meta game works. Let's let's do it, guys. Sure, sure, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Down. It, 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 it should be explained in few uh, words. One word. Google. Yeah, one word. Yeah, Google is your friend <laughs> and Smogon and. You know, Pokemon Speed has good t- tutorials about it. They got some good videos. Nubs. Yeah. NBZ did like a whole series. Yeah. So, so this person should definitely go watch those. Okay. And now we are all talking together. <laughs> <laughs> Can I has cocky? Why? Cocky. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it's Can I has a cocky. <laughs> cocky. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. What is your what is your favorite sport? Hmm. Probably uh let's say basketball and floorball maybe. And since floorball. We, yeah. I Elaborate. Don't, I don't know what's it isn't it floorball? You know, like ice hockey but you know with with in, the ball? In, indoors. Um what? ice hockey is indoors. No, yep. but like, but, but but with the ball, I get what he's saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that one. I don't really know. Learn to English. No, I shall not. It's we just, I guess we just call that street hockey. But you know, we play that outside. Yeah, I, don't, I never heard it's... of uh, playing it with a ball indoors. But uh, I guess to split that question into two, what is your favorite sport to watch, and what is your favorite sport to play? Yeah, Why well, not? then that would be. What I like to play, uh, well, that would be just the basketball I mentioned. And since it's winter time now, I also enjoy skiing. Ski- that is oh, shit. times. Because we have a lot of snow here in Finland. I can only imagine. That's I'm- boss level. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Damn next I- one. Would you rather get a blowjob from a Lickitung or get a handjob from a Conkledur? Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Blow. <laughs> Blowjob from a leaky tongue. Wow. I mean, didn't you guys guys answer this? Or was it Matt Champ in the? It was a, it was a handjob from a Machamp, and we kind of deduced that the Machamp would just break your dick in four. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would be the same with Conkelder. And then with those huge hands. A licky tongue would probably be less traumatic because you'd be paralyzed because of lick, so you wouldn't really be able to yeah. feel it that much. So let's go with licky tongue. <laughs> All right, got another one. I agree. Pokemon, we'll skip Conquer. that one. What do you yeah. think uh, if Mew stays OU? I'd be just fine with it. I've been using a Mew, Mew a lot. And so would I. It's been pretty good. I don't know if it's too broken. I guess it's the reason because it can learn pretty much every move, so it's really unpredictable. You never really, really know what it's going to be doing, so I guess that's the question if it's going to go to Uber, but... I would, I would be fine with it. I really. for would welcome our new pink fuzzy Jesus. But uh, yeah, <laughs> will you finish your black and white walkthrough? I'm assuming you're, you're going. Yeah, to. I am going to. But I think I finished like, 
finished. It's funny because I'm finished. Finished. I will continue it because I think I've finished it. God damn it, I finished it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of finish, Spade, Mr. Sash wants to know if you'll ever do a finished commentary, perhaps with subtitles. I don't know. It would require quite a lot of work, you know, with the whole subtitle thing. But maybe sub- someday. Yeah. Maybe someday. And I will finish my walkthrough. Because I have finished the... God damn it. The <laughs> main <laughs> in-game story, but I guess there's some stuff to do after the game, so... You'll I'll comp- be doing that in the future, sometime, when I got the time. So, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's Your least on. favorite Pokemon. Least least favorite. Hmm. I don't know. Kongolder. It has so small legs. I know, think it's what do you ugly. think if Gen, 5, Gen, Gen 6 comes out and there would be a, another evolution for Kongolder with huge legs? No, he, no, I arms. will not stand for that. <laughs> that means Kongolder can use the Evo Stone. No, fuck that. <laughs> Quit. No, I mean, you know, like uh, Bellossom and Wild Plume for the second evolution, just like Uncle Galade and God of War. Okay. That kind of evolution with huge legs. That would, that would be totally huge. rock. That would be faster than the... Uh, Deoxys speed form. It wouldn't be because it would be holding the cinder blocks with its feet instead. <laughs> it has, you know, the cinder blocks have like kind of like fused with its legs. It would have and intensive then, leg muscles. Next wow. thing you know, people will be asking, do you want a blowjob from Lick a Tongue or a foot job from <laughs> Oh god, cousin? God. <laughs> How did you get so good at battling? <laughs> it's you watched my videos. Videos. Which is videos. Yes, I I guess it's it's all about practicing and you know just playing the game. Wouldn't Experience you is uh, what I can agree with. Yeah. Just get out there do it. Yeah, just play the game. Okay. Uh, Ace Toniak asks, "What do you do besides Pokemon? Since you were at the army, I assume you finished school. So what do you do now?" Um, uh, I'm currently at the. University of uh, Applied Applied Sciences, and uh, I don't know what what should I officially call it, but you know I'm studying. I guess it's called just programming, uh, you know, computer stuff. You know, computer engineering. Would you want to? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, something like that. You know, I'm not really that good good with these all kinds of school school terms, but yeah, we'll go with that. Just give it a name, yeah. Um, yeah. Same guy that asked, how did you get so good at battling, asked, how did you get to where you were on your channel? Um, I, I, I guess, you know, it's all thanks to you guys. And, you know, when I think about it, there aren't really too many Finnish people in this so-called serious fucking Pokemon business. So, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> I guess that might be one of the reasons, too. You have a little bit of a uniqueness and distinction going for you, I guess. So yeah, I guess you out. know, in this big YouTube business, you have to stand out, you know. So I guess I'm different in a good kind of way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Saz asks, uh, "Have you ever thought about doing any other let's play slash gameplays other than Pokemon?" Uh, yeah, I would love to buy my. Current computer, you know, it kind of sucks and it's really, you know, difficult to record any other kind of gameplay. Uh, but I'm it's thinking about, you know, getting a... I, I could possibly get a Nintendo Wii and, you know, then the capture card thing. That would be fun. I would like it's to funny. do some sort of other stuff too. Yes, go. I was going to say it's funny you say that because he also asks about your, like, computer specs. I don't know any of that stuff. Well, really? if you're having trouble I'm not really a... then uh, it's they're probably not going to be too stellar to actually be doing. Yeah, it. yeah. So I don't really know about you know that all that technical stuff. I just play Pokemans. <laughs> and you go to it. And a, you play it well. And you yes. class out of the yeah. There. I should yeah. <laughs> I should probably know about that stuff, but I don't. <laughs> How you're passing? I have no idea. Okay, we'll yeah. skip this next. I'm one. just hanging out there at school. I never know <laughs> what's going on. Which is it's fun. School's fun, though. Um, yeah. If you could be a Pokemon, which one would you choose and why? 
Wow. Hmm. I guess I could be Snorlax, you know, to sleep and stuff, eat and stuff. That would be fun. Block people's paths, whatnot. Yeah, yeah. All right. People uh, are trying trying to go to that Deeklist cave, but I say no to that. <laughs> if you could have any ability in real life, what would it be and why? Sturdy body. <laughs> Sturdy. There you go. There. <laughs> <laughs> then you could get the spadies, the spade ladies. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys? Um, Which ability? I think I already went into this one on the meta podcast, and I oh. said I'd like poison heal. Because, oh, you know, when you get sick, you'd end up feeling better than you did the day before. So, you know, you yeah, have a cut. Awesome. You have a cut, and then the cut gets infected, and it ends up healing better. And all of a sudden, you have a six-pack afterwards as a result. <laughs> I'm okay with poison heal. Oh, man, that's genius. <clears throat> I haven't really thought about it much. I guess anticipate would be a pretty decent ability, unlike in the game. You'd yeah. actually, like, know when shit's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, levitate, that'd be badass. <laughs> yeah. You would never. What about have which to stay Pokemon up? would you be? That was the previous question. Answer that one too. Yeah. Uh, Alakazam probably because he's a genius and he can teleport. I am honestly trying to think about. Kung this. Gone. <laughs> Not Gone. a King is Gone. I'd have to deal with that kid all day fucking long. No. Way. <laughs> uh, oh God, I'm just I'm just trying to think of my favorites. You know, I don't want to pick anything that's weak to stealth rocks. That sucks. I just <laughs> I walk outside my door and kids are throwing fucking rocks at me from the bushes. So I wouldn't be an Articuno. Um, I guess a Haunter. That seems kind of cool. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's I'm, move pic- on. I'm picturing you giving mean looks to people now. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, just licking everywhere. Like, like a licking tongue. What's your favorite uh, food? And Mac or PC is what you would pick. Uh, well, I would say PC, because that's what I have. And. Uh, Favorite food? Mm. Let me think about some really traditional Finnish food. Hmm. Mashed potatoes and uh, meatballs. Totally. That sounds really good, actually. I can't yeah, say I've is. ever had it anything is. like that. Okay. Uh, what do we got next? I can go ahead and answer this next one, actually. Uh, mm-hmm. Can you get Wi Fi for Battles Trading using a No Cash or Desmi May? Uh, Kaza War is actually working on that. He's. Um, according to what I saw in Azat, like, three or four days ago, he was using a ROM on Wi-Fi for a Wi-Fi battle. I'm uh, not 100% uh, when he's going to release this or if he's going to release this, but I have seen it working. And Have it you seen good. his uh, latest video? I haven't because I'm not subscribed to him, so... Okay, well, he posted one, and it looked like he was on Wi-Fi with an emulator, and I was like, what? Yeah, you and can... Uh, I guess it works then so the answer is yes uh the the question that leads the the question that it begs is where can you download it um i don't know that answer yet so yeah but i would say we would absolutely recommend you to get a you know real nintendo ds because it's you know much more nice that way Mm -hmm. get a ds DS. Um, yeah if you want to get the retail cart, then go for it. It's a little bit of a longer route with making stuff. I used to use a retail cart with an action replay until my file got erased, with which had like 350 hours on it. And then after that, I just decided I don't want to go that route again. So I got a homebrew card, and I'm able to back up my data. So I'm not encouraging piracy here, but if you want to buy... But when you have the real game, it's, you know, okay. Yeah, when you have the real game, it's legal. So go out yeah. and buy the real game if you want, and then you can go ahead and download your ROM. Which, no, I, I have been playing black and white for like five months, and now I just bought the game when it came out here in Finland. I've been meaning to, and I'm yeah. going to buy it, so I'm not, granted, I'm not going to do anything with it. It's probably going to end up sitting on my shelf, but, you know, just to have it, because yeah. I've bought in one of every game, so it wouldn't make sense yeah. to. It's kind of a tradition, you know. Okay, uh, bouncing off on something else. Uh, will you ever do a Nuzlocke challenge? Um, uh... I don't really know. If I'm going to start doing LPs, I'm going to most likely do it in the normal way. I'm not really a Nuzlocke person. Yeah, so. Nuzlocke's are hard. Nuzlocke's are really hard. Uh, it's for I don't even know all the conditions. Isn't it like if your Pokemon faints, you have to release it? 
Mm-hmm. And or leave it in the box and never use it again if you don't want to get sappy. Like just yeah. the graveyard box is one of the rules I've seen. Um, yeah. Like if you if you got a shiny starter and you had to release it, fuck no, just leave it in the box. And well, never aren't use it. there like rules if you get a shiny, you can you know of course save it. And uh, of course you would if you would get a shiny. I've heard of some people doing the graveyard box. Uh, some people are just strict and they say, oh, release it. The other thing is you have to nickname everything so you get attached to it. Uh, you can only catch the first Pokemon on each route. Those are the uh, core three rules that I've heard about with Nuzlocke's. And uh, yeah. I have obeyed them pretty much in my Emerald run through. I'm at the I'm between the seventh and the eighth badge currently somewhere. And I've lost about four or five guys. The worst one being one that I... God, I forgot what it was. I caught it when it was little and then i got it up to like level 27 and it got crit by a uh a taylor which was rather unfortunate oh that's that's bad okay maybe i should do it because it's true that this all these pokemon games they are like getting easier and easier especially black and white the in game wow it's oh yeah nuzlocking black and white is going to be a cakewalk that's why you don't see any of those it's not hard like yeah. I, I didn't use revives until the Elite Four, and that was just because I didn't grind. I was, like, eight levels under, and, you know, I only had to use, like, maybe five or six revives total throughout the whole thing. Yeah, and you don't really need any of those hidden machines, like in the Victory Road cave. Mm-hmm. Usually you had to have, like, five or four, and you now you don't even strength, need surf, no strength, surf. no nothing. It's pretty much straightforward, and... Yeah. The only one I think that's required, like vital to the game's progress, is cut. Cuts. You use cut yeah. once, and that's it. And you can just yeah. To get that after. stupid monkey and get to the dream yard. Mm-hmm. Right. That, yeah. that works out for you. That's yep. about it. Okay. Uh, so who do you think is the weirdest looking fifth gen Pokemon? Weirdest looking. Hmm. I think it's the garbage Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, maybe that one or the. Ice cream guy, or I have to check real quick. My Milo, what do you either, think? Uh, that or Stunfisk, Magio. Oh Stunfisk. yeah, that stupid. Yeah, Stunfisk. Magio oh, or yeah. ice cream. Okay. Yeah, that is really weird. Yeah, let's go. And then that, what, whatever that, you know, flying psychic, psychic flying thing. Oh, the Shinpora or whatever yeah, it's called in English. Yeah. That is really oh yeah, that thing is really weird. It's yeah, cool, but it's, it's weird. Good, so yeah, it's, it's like, like a mix cool. of unknown A and uh, that Chai Mecco thing. And then it's, it if has you put all things. the unknowns in a bowl of cereal and let it get soggy, and then made it a paper mache, and then just put pinata decorations on it, and that's what. It yeah, kind of it's like it's really random. It's cool. It's not Garbodor. It just <laughs> looks really weird. It looks like a diaper. Like the little stage looks like a moldy diaper just tied a knot at the top so yeah isn't that thing called is it tropish trubbish something like that yeah 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 <laughs> totally clever name i like that name some of the other names are yeah unbearable no, i hate the genies they are stupid oh god the genies are stupid it's not the weirdest but it's a stupid it's concept. like one pokemon and then they just painted them in different colors wait that- wait wait you hate the randorosu <laughs> yeah no randorosu no no don't kill me for that <laughs> what it's do we fine. got <laughs> we have the Randorosu. That is okay, but the other genius... Jen has the yes. Randorosu, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. how long have it's you played Pokemon? This is next probably one. Probably from, from 1998, when the games first came out, probably. Alright, and to elaborate on that, how long have you played competitively? Uh, it was... I think I started, like, late 2009. Probably when I first started, you know, watching some Marylands videos and then found my way into narrated battles like the uh, like the Killer Inachos and yeah. Oh, Spade, Scott, what? Wow, Chase wants to know if you're as sexy as you look. Oh, oh, oh that silly emo boy. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Do you play Minecraft? I guess is the next question. I would assume no because of your computer specs, but. Yeah, I don't. I haven't played, and I wanna have. I wanna see Wild Chase. I am totally as sexy as I look like. <laughs> he is. He is. I yeah. can vouch for that. It would be so cool to meet Wild Chase. This has been part one of Seven K Podcast by Spade and Friends. Thank you for listening. A okay. questions and answers podcasting, something like that. Doesn't really matter though. 
Okay. Right. Well, that's good because I actually just started recording as soon as uh, as soon as you started saying that you can edit it out. Of it. Okay. Okay. Well, we we can just cut this part or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So should be like yeah, we should start. I gotta open right. up that comment wall again real quick. Hold on. Okay. Okay, we're good. good idea. So we're good to go. We are good to go. Yes. Yep. Rolling. Okay.